go down? Okay. Um, good evening and uh, welcome to the dance department first virtual uh, performance uh, from the ensembles and uh, guest artists uh, showings. Um, um, as the pandemic posed radical changes on our behaviors and social interactions, dance, which is the art making exclusively by the human body and its artistic artifacts has been most affected by the social isolation. Um, it's very important for us that we um, arrive to create these shows. And also I would like to acknowledge uh, the Leni La Lenapu, uh, uh, territories where uh, we, I am in this moment in Philadelphia, and I think it's important to um, acknowledge uh, our ancestors, and that creates uh, a, a, a new interaction among people and among um, um, in looking for in interesting ways to combine um, different cultures and uh, different uh, interests. So shifting to this online create creation, it was a diff very different process for us. And uh, we have to move the artistic uh, interaction between the artists and the, um, and the audience to a different territory. Since dance is not only kinetic, but it's also a visual art, the combination of movements and, me and mediums and the physical spaces have changed for us. So we're shifting into video dance as a different mode of presentation, but it's at the same time, this is opening new doors and possibilities. So these pandemic restrictions created new models to uh, make a performance, to make a performance and videos uh, that we wouldn't have been able to create without these restrictions. Uh, creating in close collaborations with the dancers also extends us to explore new territories and convert us into filmmakers, editors, writers, and force us to explore landscapes, architectures, and differ, different natural elements and environments. The shows are, uh, will consist of five short videos, uh, each are uh, nine minutes long, and uh, between five and nine, minute, nine minutes long, uh, all created in collaborative process with the students that are enrolled in ensembles, which is a practical uh, practicum course with, where we create original choreography and repertory works uh, for the stage, this time for the camera. So um, at this moment, I like to um, uh, introduce our first guest artist, that is uh, Gabriel Mata Ortega, and uh, he will introduce his piece seven stages of marriage. Gabriel Mata is a Mexican-American dance choreographer, educator, dance filmmaker, and performer. And his dance works have been performed in Minnesota, California, New York, uh, North Carolina, Maryland, Pennsylvania, Washington, DC, and the Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts. And um, he's actually uh, an assistant, um, a teaching assistant at the University of Maryland College Park. So please, um, uh, Gabrielle, introduce your piece uh, to the audience. Thank you very much. Hola, gracias, Silvana. Yeah, my name is Gabriel. Um, first of all, I just want to thank the dancers. This is a, a different process for all of us, and I am very grateful that they took on the roles as not just dancers, but videographers, collaborators throughout this entire process. My work seven stages of mirage really looks at dimension dimensionality in a self-portrait um, process along with tension in our space and i didn't want it to look so confined so i wanted to play around with layers and how um, it's almost like layers of us as we reflect as we ponder as we think as we question in the way that we are navigating this present presence is where my thoughts are. Um, again, well, thank you to Silvana for the opportunity and for Georgian Court uh, dancers. They are inspiring and they are really, really cool people. <laughs> Gracias. Gracias, Gabriel.
Excuse me, it looks like there is a...
Thank you very much, uh, Gabrielle and dancers. Beautiful work. Congratulations. So the next piece is um, was created by Dr. Ras Mikey. He's currently an assistant professor at Wayne State University, who holds a BFA in dance, uh, an advanced MA in ethnochoreology, and a PhD in arts practice and research. Um, I will really thank uh, Dr. Russ because he will he's he was scheduled to create a piece for the Strand Show. The Strand Show was canceled, and now he's creating a piece for this media, which is a very different thing. So it's completely remaking everything. So thank you for your participation, your patience, and to staying with us uh, creating this work. Please um, say something about uh, the piece. The name of the piece is Al Shem Shem. So please, um, Dr. Russ. Uh, it's the name of the piece is Al Shashim. You got it right the first time, Al Shashim. <laughs> So Al-Shashim is a, a word in the Amharic language, one of Ethiopia's languages, and it means to, to not retreat, which is kind of the premise of the piece. Originally, the idea, like she said, was developing an Ethio-modern dance, which was the crux of my research with my master's and my PhD, is pretty much how I engage with Ethiopian culture in my contemporary dance process. So with this particular Ethio modern dance piece, I was looking at the idea of no retreat as the theme and thinking about different associations with Ethiopian culture uh, where they didn't retreat. And specifically the Battle of Adwa was one of those uh, instances it was the first Ethio-Italian war where Eth Ethiopia was victorious. So that's the song that I used and Al Shashim is also the name of a song as well by an artist by the name of Gigi, who's a contemporary Ethiopian singer. And the song that I used in this particular piece or this section of the piece is called Adwa, which, which is also by Gigi. And when I say this section, there were this the original piece was in two parts. And but since we transferred over into this virtual space, we decided to condense it into just showing the focusing on the one part and the working progress uh, or the working process of this particular piece. It, I think the greatest challenge was the investment into the creative process because you start with one original idea in a space face to face. And we were literally going into our third rehearsal when lockdown happened and I had to leave the university campus. So then coming into this virtual space, we're now thinking of keeping with the same ethos of the piece, but how do we then transfer and convey this sense of this connection to uh, your homeland, so to speak, uh, and then also the resistance to all the things that are happening sociopolitically that may oppress you from moving forward in your life. So the notion of not retreating is something that we used as the premise and all the, the the performers i want to acknowledge all the performers who helped to create the piece in the early stages at uh georgian court university and then all the the people who came into the, the process in the virtual space and the new people as well as those who came along from the earlier rehearsals so I hope you enjoy. I hope it plants a, a seed of intrigue about Ethiopian culture uh, into the hearts and minds of everybody who has a chance to, to witness it. And so here's the piece, Al Shashim. Thank you so much.
Silvana, I would be remiss if I did not uh, acknowledge Les for his amazing uh, editing work. It was his vision that brought this piece to life. He told his own story with the footage that he had, so I really tip my hat to him. And thanks to Megan and Will for their support as well. Thank you. It was wonderful. It's really great to have you uh, creating this piece. Thank you. I hope you come back and work more with us. Um, Dr. Ras, one of our guest artists. Thank you very much. 
So we're going to um, go now to watch a piece created by a student that uh, Professor Patrick Capello will introduce. And uh, this is a uh, music of, of, for dance uh, capstone project created for, uh, by one of our seniors, uh, dance majors, Tyler Rivera. Uh, so uh, Dr. Capello has a lot to say about this work. Um, he's very impressed with the results. So he's gonna share with you the process and the name of the piece is Romance, La Me Evaporé. Thank you, Dr. Capello. Uh, uh, How are you? Um, let me just say a few words about this. I know that is um, Tyler's um, work, his beautiful work, will will speak more to it. But just as, in the way of a bit of background, be getting a little technical. Um, this is a piece called Romance by uh, Clark Debussy, uh, major the the major impressionistic uh, composer, really created the style. And it's an art song, and uh, it's a beautiful, evocative art song written in the Impressionistic style, and it's brought to perfection by the composer. An art song is um, a piece of music that's written on a poem or a work of literary merit, um, usually a great published work. And in this case, um, Debussy, in his um, characteristic style, has brought this beautiful, very, very short poem um, to great, great meaning and great um, understanding metaphorically and in an impressionistic way in a transcendent language of music. However, with the words, and I will just give the first stanza of the poem, and, and the music itself, the transcendent music, and then the beautiful interpretation um, by Tyler, I think it will mean so much. So let me read a few lines of this work, uh, the first actual stanza. So it is the spent and suffering soul. Um, the poet is Paul Bourget. The spent and suffering soul, the spent and suffering soul, the sweet soul, the soul steeped in the divine lilies I gathered, in the garden of your thoughts. Where have the winds dispersed it? this adorable lily soul. Does not a single scent remain of the heavenly softness of the days when you enclosed me in a supernatural mist made of hope, of faithful love, of bliss, and of peace. Um, so there are the words, and we will hear the music. And then Tyler has, again, retranslated all of that into movement so beautifully, as we will see. Thank you. Thank you very much. Does everyone want to speak? Uh, Tara, we, we are ready to watch. Thank you.
very much. Tyler, would you like to say something about the piece? Tyler? Hi, um, thank you so much. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, the um, the piece wasn't really uh, created on heavy like conceptual thought. It was really based on the music, um, and then how I felt about the music. It really created its own concept, um, and it just happened to really um, coincide with the poem as well. It just all fit together. So I'm I'm happy with the work. Thank you all for watching. Thank you. Um... So the next uh, work is called Windows. I was created by assistant professor, uh, Georgian Court assistant professor, Megan Masaryk. So Megan, please introduce your work. Hi, hopefully you can hear me. Um, my name is Megan Masaryk and for my piece Windows, I've been researching um, uh, ways of performing safely during the pandemic. And this is a little sliver of that research. So um, the idea of a window is both a very practical use as a barrier, um, and then it's also a metaphoric uh, usage. So it's a way of peering in and peering outwards. Um, in the piece, the dancers work a lot with flattening movement and working on the sort of two dimensionality, and then also worked with um, a sort of peering inward and outward of themselves. We did a whole lot of different research and this is only a little slice of the research. And so I'm really excited to share it with you and um, hope you look forward to some surprise performances as well. Thank you, this is Windows. Thank you, Megan.
Wow, amazing work, and the families included. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Megan. So the next, um, the next work is mine. It's called Reconvene, and uh, where COVID-19 cannot reach. Um, as COVID-19 forces us to rethink our spaces and relations, uh, we're seeking for places to reconvene, to find each other again. Uh, so we explore dancing in, in open spaces, underwater, whatever we can create this dance without getting infected. So reconvene, in reconvene, the air we breathe become visible, not only in the breeze and in the impact of our movement and our clothes moving, but also expressed in the quality of movement, seeking for beauty and joy in this moment of despair. And I. Thanks so much, all my dancers. Thank you. The time will come when with elation you will greet yourself arriving at your own door, in your own mirror, and each will smile at the other's welcome and say, sit here, eat. You will love again the stranger who was yourself. Give wine, give bread, give your heart back to itself, to the stranger who has loved you all your life, whom you've ignored for another, who knows you by heart. Take down the letters from the bookshelf, the photographs, the desperate notes. Peel your own image from the mirror. Sit, feast on your life.
to be limitless. An emotional flow and chaotic explosion, supported, held, breathless yet most alive, a comforting risk. The rough tides of my tender heart spilling into connectivity, not needing to identify, only to feel, to be, to exist as part of a whole, an experience outside of time. not just water, but the voice of life, the voice of being, the voice of perpetual 
becoming. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. I would love if everybody can unmute and just make some noise so we know that we are here all together. Great um, to everybody. I have 40 sure. messages I can't keep up. OK, so uh, I don't know if like anybody wants to say something. Um, want to ask questions, how we made this. This was very, very, very hard to do for all the choreographers. Because when I, I, I talk at the beginning, and I'm sorry, I was like, uh, my, my uh, what I had prepared to say kind of move and I have to improvise. But what I had prepared to say at the beginning, I said, these are radical, radical changes in our practice. We work in the room with people and suddenly we were alone, like, I have my text messages, my messenger, and a lot of hard drives to gather all this information, to talk to the dancers and give directions. So we were on the same page creating the same thing. So very, very difficult for everybody. I know everybody uh, had the same struggle. So I'm so glad we did something. We make something in this terrible moment. And it's Beautiful, everybody. I'm super grateful, super grateful for the dancers uh, that put up with our changes of methods. And they were like, what are we doing now going underwater and you know, in your tubs, like in your at home. So uh, I am very, very happy with the results and with the way that we got together. So there's mostly comments, uh, everybody can see them. So um, anybody wants to talk, I think they can unmute themselves and say something, can I, can they? Over the top, great, everybody. Over the top, great, in my opinion. Thank you. If anyone wants to ask a question, they can use the Q&A feature to type your question or they can use the raise your hand feature and we can unmute you. I'm, I'm going to say give thanks again for the opportunity to share. Give thanks for everybody that shared. Silvana, let's stay in touch. Megan, Will, everybody else that stay in touch. And let's keep creative. Oh, that's not going to stop. We can't all do it. Exactly. So it's like a disease. You have to keep doing it. Yeah. All okay. right. Take care. You can take care. Thank you so much. Savannah, one question. Yeah. Um, so much of that was um, so inspired. I mean, really, uh, really moving, but otherworldly. Just an idea of the concepts. It, did one one lead into another, or just just some rough idea of how the, your conception of be of that of that piece, and just your idea about it. Uh, well, the idea was to um, first. We watch a movie together. Uh, Teres Malik is a, is a filmmaker that I really love his work. And this, mo this movie um, 
his movies are no linear um, narratives. So uh, this particular one called uh, Tree of Life and it's about a brother that supposedly died. So I wanted to bring that environment. So I show the movie to the dancers. I look at this, watch this movie. This is the environment that I want. Then we start like writing memories. So some poems came out of that. Then I needed to like have a specific type of um, text. So I end up like researching and selecting some text from um, different authors. Uh, but then we did like writing, uh, we created like small videos, like using the camera in different ways. Like at the beginning it was like run around your house with the phone and then post it in like uh, in, in a hard drive. So we look at the material and then slowly we start building uh, these modes of videotaping something. And then I send them to the beach. So I will be on call at the time of the ensemble and I send them to the beach and they have to send me the videos that they were doing or, or you know, close or meet, reconvene again after uh, they did the videos, like it's two hours and 15 minutes. So they will go to the beach or to the pool or whatever. And then 15, 20 minutes before the hour of the ensemble will reconvene, show the videos and talk about the findings. So then I created, um, I created a, a script, like with what I wanted to see. And then it was like all these pieces together that I was already shaping before when I sent them to do their videos. So I have pool footage, I have beach running around footage with certain movements that they have to do. I have this inversions with uh, inside the ground and that was protecting the head from the air and you know the the COVID again. So everything has the same through line: breathing, protecting from COVID, and and then these beautiful images about life. That's what I wanted to express. So that was the process. Okay. And the dancers amazing: Tyler, Quincy, Esmeralda, Alonso, um, Ali, Kearney, Tiffany. Amazing. They they froze to death in their pools. They, they, because, you know, this is September, October when we were doing this. Uh, and they have to go to like the pool early in the morning, you know, depends on the light. So they, it was like a lot of logistical. We did this with nothing, with the pools at home, with three cameras that I have, like I have two cameras, I send the cameras to them uh, that can go underwater and their phones, like zero cost. It was the, the production and their clothes. I just asked for certain colors and they chose what they were. Last thing I must say from your major piece, but everyone's work, I'm very, very moved. I mean, it really was amazing. I mean, that literally, not the kids today, awesome, amazing. I mean, really amazing. I'll shut up. Wonderful, thank you so much. Well, we have great comments about everybody. Um, I don't know, maybe if there is a more, there's more questions or comments or we just finish. Are we good? Okay, well, thank you everybody. And um, thank you all the audience and uh, all the dancers and choreographers. And Tara, thank you so much for uh, participating in this event and helping us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, bye.